Yeah, so in 2016, ESPN came in into the prison and they were uh they were going to film do, they were doing some type of project so i got interviewed and a couple of other san quentin warriors got interviewed in 2017 draymond green comes back with kevin durant right mm-hmm. kevin durant just got pulled away from the okc right he's a warrior now they bring him in because you know in essence you the new guy so you're gonna come to the prison and meet these guys over here they also bring marcus thompson one of the lead writers on the athletic Now, I'm doing play-by-play. At halftime, somebody sneaks up on the side of me, right? Like, we in prison, bro. You you just don't sneak up behind to the side of somebody, right? And I feel this happening, right? (laughs) And he looks at me. He says, hey, man, who are you? And, you know, I've been in San Quentin long enough to be like, well, you know, this is a great day for the prison. It gives everybody a chance to show our humanity. You know what I'm saying? And the, the community gets to come in and, and see how we are. Now, I don't want to hear that shit, man. Who are you? Where did you come from, bruh? You are great. And nobody had ever asked me that about myself, specifically in that basketball program, up until he asked me. So I opened up and told him about who I was. A few days later, he writes a piece in The Athletic and a third of it is about me. He said the show didn't start until this guy opened up his mouth. You know, his name is Aaron Taylor, but everybody calls him Showtime. And the following season, Kevin Durant sends a film crew in to film the movie Cue Ball, which is now playing on Tubi, right? It's a Fox Sports documentary, and it's about the 2018 season of the San Quentin Warriors, right? Mm-hmm. And they came to me and was like, man, we want you to do exactly what you was doing when we met you. We want we want you to be kind of like the ESPN, myself, uh, Rasan Thomas, who was the sports editor of San Quentin News at the time, and another guy by the name of Nate, right, who was part of the uh, Shakespeare Club up in there, but he was real swift with his mentals. And so I called Nate, I need you over here with us, right? And so that's what we did in the movie, you know, um, I did play by play, and then we would sit and talk about Kind of like how uh, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp, you know what I'm saying, would go at it. We kind of did it somewhat like that, but we did that in the movie. And then COVID hit and shut the nation down. And Cue Ball played for two years on Netflix. It was the number one show on Netflix, the number one film that was being watched, you know, and people got to know about me. But the story was really about uh, Harry A.T.L. Smith who had an opportunity to try out for the G League, the San Quentin Warriors G League, a week after he was released, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, he he went straight to the G League a week after he was released. He didn't make it. He was part of like 34, 35 people tried out. They only picked three. But the man was so good inside of prison that they 